up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and welcome back for another head-to-head -head seasons gameplay on Madden Ultimate Team 25. Now, if you guys have played a lot of Madden 25, you can probably tell that what's happening here is not head-to-head -head gameplay. And don't worry, we'll get to that head-to-head -head gameplay in just a few minutes here. But I wanted to explain to you guys exactly what happened in this video. Uh-oh, retard alert! I was sitting around, messing around on Madden Ultimate Team, didn't have my Elgato even hooked up at the moment because I had recently played a game of MLB The Show and it, that's on my PlayStation 3, which is actually not even in the same room as my PlayStation 4 that I play Madden on. So my Elgato wasn't hooked up and I accidentally clicked on the start searching for a game button while I was on that screen. And I wanted to back out because I really wasn't in the mood to play a head-to-head -head game at this point. Uh, obviously, I like to record my games when I'm going to be playing them in the head-to-head -head games because I like to get bring that to you guys. Um, but I accidentally clicked it, and it put me into a game with a guy named The Average Joe. So at the time, I'm sitting in a Skype call with Ryan915, and he tells me that The Average Joe has a really good team. So I'm pretty frustrated about that. Obviously, I wanted to back out at that point in time. My team's not that great overall. It's like a 91 or something like that. His team, I think, was a 98 overall. He has like a ton of 99 overall players, or not even necessarily 99s, but just like the really good players in the game. And I knew that I was going to be in trouble. But I wasn't going to back out, so I decided to stay in the game. Obviously, I wasn't able to record it during the game because I would have had to run over and try and set up my Elgato and everything like that. But what I ended up doing was actually recording at the end of the game with using the highlights. So you're going to see I actually used my own custom scoreboard on here. I hope you guys can understand why. Um, also my own custom camera angles and everything. So let's get into the gameplay footage here. Very first play from scrimmage. Chris Johnson, watch this. Whoop! Oh, baby! He's going to go to the house. That was delicious. An 82-yard touchdown run. Huge way to start the game. I'm feeling happy about it, but the ensuing kickoff, I'm going to start to realize real quickly that I'm not so well off in this game. This isn't going to be the easy game like I've had in the first few that I've played. Look at this return here by Deshaun Jackson. He's just juking my guys out, making me look like a complete idiot. I thought he was going all the way, but thankfully we were able to tackle him there. Moving on now, second and seven, and you're going to see Earl Campbell here. He's just so powerful, runs over my defender. And he is having absolutely no problems driving the ball down the field here as he hits Randy Moss, gets the ball down to the eight yard line here. Now watch my cornerback on this run here. He's gonna hit Earl Campbell, but he's just gonna go flying on the ground. He had absolutely no problem, just ran me right over. I get the ball back, seven to seven now, and I'm gonna get the ball moving again with Chris Johnson. He's my guy, he's always my guy, but we stalled out on that drive, gave the ball back to them. He moves the ball down the field just a little bit here, but he ends up having to punt as well after this first down. I got the ball back with 38 seconds left, and most people would say, I need to pass here. And I agree. I set up this pass here with that run. You're going to see it looks like the same run's coming, but I end up hitting him with the play-action pass to Vernon Davis, move the ball all the way down the field like a 45-yard completion or something long like that. 15 seconds left in the half now, and with Reggie Bush, I'm trying to get out of bounds, and oh, not quite. I did have some timeouts left, though. I was able to call one, and we do hit Vernon Davis here for the touchdown with just seconds left in the half to go up 14-7. to Second half now, he's going to start moving the ball a little bit on offense. Now, I noticed that he had been running a lot on first down, and I made a terrible decision here to run commit. He goes over the top with Randy Moss, an easy touchdown. That was probably the easiest touchdown he's ever going to have. He ties it up at 14. Ensuing drive on offense, it's fourth and one. I'm feeling like I could get this pretty easily. I should have gone outside, but apparently I did not get it going up the middle. I give the ball back to him, and he ends up kicking a 60-yard field goal to go up 17-14 in the fourth quarter. There's only 321 left at this point, but I'm really just doing my best not to worry here. As they say, slow and steady wins the race. I'm trying to avoid the big mistake. I threw way too many interceptions in my last game. The running game is working. I am not going to make those mistakes again. And here, Chris Johnson gets free, and he easily walks into the end zone to make it 21 to 17 with less than two minutes left. Ensuing drive now, fourth and seven. Pressure's on. Randy Moss drops the ball, though. Epic. I get the ball back with a minute 22. And again, Chris Johnson's going to break free here. Look at this juke. See ya, baby. That back juke was working for me this game. And I go up 28 to 17. A minute 14 left now. And he's going to get the ball moving with Randall Cunningham on the ground. 
he hadn't done that much in this game, but I knew that, that the threat was there, of course. But he actually hits me with long runs here in back-to-back -back plays. I think he combined for like 38 yards or something like that on these two runs. And he ended up getting out of bounds on both of them to stop the clock. That was important for him. 52 seconds left. And he's going to throw it up here into triple coverage. Dave Casper comes up with it. Unbelievable. I thought Madden was about to screw me there. <laughs> Especially when he scores this touchdown. He makes it 23 to 28. He ends up going for two. And he gets it to make it 25 to 28. Thankfully, I did get the onside kick. For, unfortunately, for some reason, it didn't show that in the highlights, so I wasn't able to show you guys here in the video. But that was the final play by Chris Johnson. I did end up winning 28-25. to It was a great win for me. I was feeling good about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment. If you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.